happy Monday. We've got the beautiful rooster crowing, yes, and the ambient light because it's currently quarter past six in the morning. But I'm going to bring you guys along with me for this whole week, starting this morning with a run. This looks so ridiculous from this angle. It's just a visor, guys. I just wear this to keep the hair off my like off my face. Honestly, just need to get like a headband, but at the moment this is what we're working with. Halfway there, honestly, going pretty good. Two more five minute intervals to go and then I'll be home. It's kind of raining too, love that. I've had a shower and I've got changed and I'm just in the midst of packing my work bag. So I've just come off the back of a weekend away with my friends from church, which would be the video that you guys saw prior to this one. And I took my parents' car down to Tauranga and I left my glasses in the center console <laughs> and so my glasses are currently in Fongmata because mum has the car down there for work so I do not have glasses or until she gets home on Wednesday night I will be blind until further notice <laughs> and I have a little smoothie and some toast for breakfast I've got yogurt milk mixed berries like frozen and a half a frozen banana or like a little I don't even know what it was it was in the freezer and I just put it in here but the like teaspoon of chia seeds this is definitely giving juice vibes as opposed to smoothie vibes oh that tastes so good time to go to work to physically go actually into the office I only do this once a week on a Monday morning for a couple hours for our staff meeting Work is done for the morning. I'm like on my way home to carry on working from my home office for the rest of the day. And I'm going to the supermarket to get some stuff for dinner because mum has gone to work in Whangamata until Wednesday night. So it's just dad night at home. So what does that mean? Emma, can you cook? Emma, can you do this? Emma, can you do that? Yes, I can. But it does mean that I now have to go to the supermarket in the middle of my work day to go and get some stuff, which is fine. I'm going to grab some stuff for dinner for tonight and for tomorrow night. I haven't even talked to dad about what we're having, but... He'll just eat what he's given. He's got leftover pizza for tonight, so they can. he's going to have that. I'm going to have a chicken wrap. And then tomorrow night, I was thinking we'd do fish burgers. So I'm going to grab some fish and some burger buns and some lettuce. Secured. The only thing I didn't get was the buns because it's for dinner tomorrow night. And there's anything to know about my dad is he needs his bread to be fresh. Honestly, I personally couldn't care less. I would sit there and scrape the mold off it if it meant that food wasn't going to be wasted. It is five o'clock. I've finished my work day and now I have to go to be at an eyebrow appointment in 15 minutes. So here is the before and after. Normally when I get my brows done, I get my lashes done at the same time, but you probably can't tell from the camera and I feel like I can't get to focus close enough to actually show you, but I have psoriasis on my lash line like just my lash line and it is so oh, it's annoying for starters because it means i wake up with like crusty eyes which is disgusting it also means that when the psoriasis comes out sometimes my lashes come out with it so this poor eye has like half the amount of lashes to this one but that's fine i don't know where dad is he went out like two hours ago to help my brother with something and he hasn't come home yet i am gonna have some dinner i was lying down on the bed getting my brows done and this always happens my stomach just starts like rumbling like I've literally never eaten food before in my life. Let's not judge this on its presentation, but dinner is ready. I am gonna eat my dinner, watch Sarah's day's vlog, her Christmas vlog, because I'm very behind the times. I've just been sitting here for honestly the last like hour and a half. I had to make a YouTube thumbnail for my video that just went live. And then I realized I'm so, I haven't posted on TikTok in such a long time. And so I realized I had like three summer bucket list videos that I posted as a reel, but I hadn't posted as a TikTok. So I just did a massive dump of summer bucket list videos. I went through a phase, I've been so active on TikTok and I loved it. And I just haven't posted on them in so long. So I need to get back into that. It's quarter past eight. So I need to start like getting ready for bed. But I really want to do some more editing on the video that you guys will see before this one from our Papa Moore trip. Because it's just like, I've only edited like 10 minutes of it and I've been loving it so far. I knew this was going to happen. I, it's now nearly 9 o'clock and I pretty much finished editing the video. <laughs> so it's pretty much done and it will definitely be finished tomorrow, which is good. Because it means then it's done and that's my video upload for like literally a week's time. So I'm very onto it right now, which is great. But I just realized I really want to do a photo dump from our weekend away on Instagram. So I've got the trusty G7X. You guys may recall when I posted my video of me getting this new camera, and I was like, oh, I'm an hour about what I was going to do with this because it's like seen better days and like I didn't want to sell it. I'm 100% keeping it because the photos that this camera takes is just unmatched. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to 
Tuesday. You would have just seen my gym session for this morning. I was feeling so weak, but it's okay, we got it done. But I just had a shower and washed my hair, so now I'm doing my hair. Also, I just wanna say, I don't know if you can see it right now, but there is a part of my head where my hair is like shorter than everywhere else. I have noticed it a few times that I'll be editing where I like turn my head and you can like see it, it's like sticks up the back of my head. So if you've ever noticed that, just ignore it. It's growing out, it'll be gone soon. Pretty sure it's from when I got my hair dyed back in March and it like broke and now it's growing back. But anyway, today is Tuesday, today's a normal work day. Nothing exciting really happening today. I'm not going anywhere, I'm not doing anything, I'm just working. Boom. Happy 5 p.m. guys. I actually finished work a little bit earlier today, but I've been editing the Papa Moore vlog and I'm nearly finished. I'm so close. I just need to rewatch it and make sure it makes sense. I'm also sitting on the floor because I'm in the middle of uploading a story because one of you guys messaged me today. Is there something on my... <sighs> That's better. One of you guys messaged me today and reminded me that in lockdown 2021, I did massive group Bible plans with you guys on the Bible app. So... I'm just putting up a thing on my story to see if anyone would be interested to do one because it was so much fun and if the interest is still there, 100% would we'll do it again. That is why I'm currently parked on the floor. It's 5.30 now and I'm going to finish editing this video, go cook some Kai and actually Kai Moana, we're having fish burgers for dinner. I probably am going to do some study after dinner because I have a few like straggling assignments that I just need to do and get done. Really riveting Tuesday night. <laughs> video is done and I promised the girls that I would send them a link before I posted it. I just made the thumbnail though and I... Love it. This sunset on Saturday night was unreal. What's for dinner? We got uh, fish making our own filet of fish. DIY version. It's got the, oh it's got sauce that looks kind of gross now but it got tartia sauce, lettuce, capsicum, cucumber, fish. Hey Siri, what's the time? It's 7.52 a.m. Good morning, happy Wednesday. I have had the best morning so far. Did like an hour Devo time on What's the date today? The 24th. Genesis 24. And went for my run. And I was a bit nervous about it because it was it's the longest one that I've done to date. When I woke up, I went and ate a banana. And so that had an hour to digest while I was spending some time with Jesus. And when it came time for me to go for my run, I had so much energy. And so I smashed out the run, kept a steady pace the whole time. Arguably it was slower than normal, but it was because I kind of found my pace and kept it steady across the whole well, it was five kilometers with a bit of walking in there too. Came home, stretched outside, had a cold shower for five minutes. And now I am thinking that I might have another go at some poached eggs for breakfast. The last time I attempted that was when I vlogged it a couple of vlogs ago. And I ended up with boiled eggs instead of poached eggs. So we're going to try again. Good morning from the rooster. Uh oh, TD. Okay, don't get me wrong. I love summer, but I cannot wait for autumn. It's my favorite season where you can like wear this sort of stuff like all day long. I love a shorts and a jumper combo. No oh, outfits from Princess Polly. When this goes live, I do have a Princess Polly discount code, which is M20. So E M M20 for 20% off. Make the most of that because it doesn't last forever. Someone recommended in my comments that I get the water spinning. And then drop it in the center. Hey Siri, see the timer for two and a half minutes? And this is gonna be the moment of truth, and I feel like this is gonna be just as bad as last time because looking like that. Mm. Oh, oh my gosh! Can you guys see that? Can you guys see that one? Yep, okay, cool. Oh. Apps. Oh, she's nailed it. So last night I put, well, after work, I put my story up about the group bible plan that i want to do and the response has been so good so i've written down everyone's suggestions with like little tally marks to try and figure out what we are going to do a bible plan about and there's four front runners at the moment you can do four options on instagram polls so i think i'll do a poll and that'll narrow it down to a topic and then it's going to be on me to choose which plan we actually do so i'm going to need the help of the holy spirit for that one hello it is 5:06 p.m i have finished work and now we switch into study mode I'm hoping to submit two assignments tonight for my personal training course and then that's pretty much my eighth module done and dusted and then I only have to do module 19, 11, 12 and 13 by the end of March. <laughs> my mum also comes home tonight which is great but I need to cook dinner and I don't actually know what we're going to have and I'm not going out to buy anything so we're just going to see what we can throw together out of the pantry. Anyway, I'm going to conduct three SWOT analyses. Is that what you call like the plural of analysis, analyses. Some SWOT analysis, nah, it must be analyses. Plural. Analyses. Analyses, is that what I said? I'm gonna conduct three SWOT analyses, it was analyses. Three SWOT analyses on 
some competitors of my hypothetical business that doesn't exist. Okay, SWOT analyses are done. We're uploading, we're submitting, we're probably never gonna look at that document ever again, but that is okay. Submit. Done! I've been recruited with a hammer to go and set up some rat bait because we've been having problems with rats in this house for like the past six months. And we can tell because when they die, they stink. Right, into the attic we go. Now, you don't want to touch the poison. I was gonna say I don't want to touch the poison. Oh, that's where it lives. And it's all gone. Oh, I need to smack it in. Is that the frame of the house? Yep. And now they eat the rat poison and they die in our ceiling and smell again. It's a never ending cycle. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, what the heck? It's only half past five. I woke up like 15 minutes ago. Oh. The rest is popping off today. It is cold this morning. Well, it's like 14 degrees. It's not that cold, but like for summer, I've been downstairs and I've eaten a banana. It was yesterday. I ate a banana before I went for my run and I reckon it made. A big difference. My runs, I normally do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but, but I'm just kind of excited to get the run done, so I'm gonna do it today instead. <laughs> and like my body feels fine, and also I'm hoping because I haven't been able to do a heavy leg session all year so far. Because if I do a heavy leg session and try and run the day after, it just doesn't really work for me. Today, my run is to run for 20 minutes straight. And up until now, the longest continuous run that I've done is eight minutes but the longest run in total that I've done is 32 minutes but it was broken up into like smaller sections. Quarter past six and a little devo time is done. This is like my favorite part of the day when you can kind of see the light coming in the side of the curtain and then moment of truth. It's gonna be a stunning day. Time to get some running gears on and make my bed and then I can hit the pavement. Just over halfway. Feeling good. I still read out my nose so that's a, a pro. Done. Three point one seven kilometers. It's time to come cool down because that was a little bit humbling if I'm being honest. Breakfast time and take a wild guess of what we're having. Poached eggs, baby. I couldn't remember how long I cooked it for yesterday and yesterday was perfect. Mm, okay, not as good as yesterday. Yeah, okay. I have been in back-to-back -back meetings all morning. I've just finished my lunch break, but while I was in my back-to-back -back meetings, my parents left. I knew they were leaving, but I didn't realize that they were leaving in the middle of my meeting so I was expecting to like you know eat lunch with them but they've gone up to Whangarei to see my nana for a few days and they've taken the car and my glasses are still in the stupid centre console so I genuinely cannot see until Saturday now. I meant to get them out of the thing last night and mum got home and I forgot and now my glasses are halfway to Whangarei. You know who's not halfway to Whangarei? Me. But you know what there is? Absolutely nothing I can do about it. Work is done for the day, but I have an appointment at quarter to seven at the Whitening Co. They've invited me in to come and get my teeth whitened. I'm so not vibing my outfit. This is giving like 2020 Emma, and that gives me the ick. Maybe I need to do a little outfit change. My Peace and Salvation Good News tee. That's a bit of, I love this tee. This is my favorite shirt at the moment. I wear it all the time. I've got my No Longer Bound tee. That would be cool actually. No Longer Bound with a white skirt. That outfit will go good with my dunks. Right, OOTD has been decided, you guys can't see a thing. Longer bound tee, denim skirt, dunks on my dogs. And I also have to take my cricket because this is for my friend Michaela, who is getting married next month. And she's like, anyone got a cricket I can borrow? And I was like, yeah, I got a cricket you can borrow, but I don't know how I'm going to get it to you because we both live on opposite sides of Auckland. And then she's like, oh, Kennedy said you can come and get your teeth widened because she works there as well. And you can drop it off and I'll get it then. So that's the whole story of how I ended up getting free teeth whitening. <laughs> well, we had a good run. I made it half an hour till I hit traffic. Now I'm in traffic. I'm going 30 k's an hour though. That's not too bad. My ETA is still like on track. So I should get there like half an hour early. I have no idea what I'm going to do for dinner. My appointment goes for an hour. So I won't be out until like quarter to eight. But then I also don't know if I'm supposed to eat afterwards. They recommend with the at home kits that you do them at night time. So you have the whole night where you're not eating or drinking anything. So it doesn't like wash the like whatever on off your teeth and like it makes it last better and do a better job. Anyway, that was a really poor way of explaining it. I don't know if that's the same for like this. I'm really craving like a 10 pack chicken nugget combo right now. But if that is not the case and I can cannot eat tonight, I will be partaking in some unintentional prayer and fasting. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Wandering up Ponsonby Road with a cricket machine. <laughs> Who is she out here vlogging on Ponsonby? 
something road in front of a restaurant full of people. Anyway, smile. Teeth are so white. Shout out to Whitening Co. I need to like preface that was fully 100% gifted. So thank you so much to them. I'm so stoked. It was so easy. I just sat there, literally watched Sarah's days, like this YouTube videos. It was an absolute breeze. And I'm allowed to eat food. So let's go to the Macca's drive thru and get some nuggets and some fries. So I must admit, I'm so good. Oh my gosh, my camera is 6%. That's so bad. No, never mind. We're not talking about that. We're going to save that. Okay, what can I give you today? Hi there, can I just get a 10 piece chicken nugget um, combo medium with a peach iced tea? Yeah, anything else? That's all, thank you. That is the most weird McDonald's order ever. Oh my goodness, embarrassed, I'm so embarrassed. Who goes to McDonald's and gets an iced tea? Oh, thank you very much. Thought everyone would be home by now, but um, it's 9 p.m. and I'm stuck in traffic on the motorway. <laughs> I live, love Auckland. Rise and shine. Good morning guys. Happy Friday. It is now 20 past 5. I got home last night at like 2 o'clock. I ended up being stuck on the southern motorway for like an hour and a half. But anyway, that's fine. These are my teeth. <laughs> oh, that's the rooster. I am up at Adam this morning. I've got my Bible. I'm gonna spend some time with Jesus for a little bit. Taya's gonna be here in just under an hour. She's coming at quarter past six. Uh, to do a workout with me. So stoked it's Friday. So excited for a sleep in tomorrow. When I woke up at stupid o'clock yesterday, I realized that I haven't had to sleep in for the whole of 2024 yet, and it's literally like the 26th today. So can't wait for that tomorrow. Morning, girl. Morning. How are your legs feeling? Fine now. <laughs> they won't be in about three hours. <laughs> I am dressed in this attire because I'm currently tanning. We've got Tatel's 21st tonight and we decided, well, I decided I'm gonna wear the same dress that I wore on Christmas day, which is fine, but the dress is white and <clears throat> so am I. Poached eggs for breakfast and my yolk is just got a mind of its own. That looks kind of sad, but moment of truth. This vlog has just been me cracking open egg yolks. Oh no, that's, that's the worst one yet. Taya has gone, she's gonna come back later on oh my gosh that rooster is she's gonna come back later on before we go to tajul's birthday because we're gonna get ready and travel up together but i have a package mail lady just dropped off for me from jb hi-fi and we have a beautiful four terabyte hard drive because my current four terabyte hard drive is full work is done i just had a shower to wash off my tan i literally let it marinate all day which is probably longer than it needed i'm just gonna turn on some music and i'm gonna curl my hair which i haven't done in a very long time so i'm hoping i don't burn myself but yeah taylor's on her way over so she'll be here shortly hello hey <laughs> oh my god i love the dress nearly there <laughs> guys i'm so glad Tay's here because i literally would have walked out of the house looking like this this is why girls get ready together <laughs> What have you done? <laughs> oh, what an improvement. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I promise. I fixed it. Did handy Manny. No, I didn't fix it. Wait. I feel like that's slightly better. Yeah, you can't even tell. Yeah, that should be right. Okay, I might run on the way home. Canvas is to do some art. Very overdressed. Trying to find a massage ball. We're gonna do some textured art. Also, we're on the G7X right now. It's a bit of a slay. Oh my gosh, they're both going! Oh my gosh, my favorite time of the night, guys. Me and Emma love watching the trucks. Driving home from church one night, and we bonded over it. We both realized- yeah, we both realized that it like brings us so much joy. And I was- smile on my face right now. And it was something that I didn't even know that somebody else did. And then we started talking about it, and I was like, bro, no way, <laughs> you too. to be honest. There were some things I didn't know, but I just acted confident and shouldn't even question it. Got a carrot, which is kind of scoty. Mm -hmm. 